Hey, this is Micah. I'm a WGA screenwriter, and I want to show you how you can collaborate on your scripts with other writers using Arc Studio Pro. Let's get into it. So to add collaborators to your project, you just click on Share. And there's two ways that you can add uh, someone. You can either create a link to send to them or just enter their email address and they'll get sent an invitation. So for instance, I can just do like, you know, example at email.com and click invite. And then I have a couple options here. So right now this one says can edit, and this means that they can edit the script. So if you're working with a collaborator, this may be what you use so that they can you know, write and make adjustments to the script. Uh, but you have some other options too. One, you can make them an admin, which means they can edit and they can also invite other collaborators. And then the last option you have here is read only. Read only is great uh, if you're looking to get feedback on your script from someone who's not going to be a collaborator to it. So read only means that they'll be able to read the script and leave comments on the script, uh, but they won't be able to edit it. So again, a great way to get feedback, but we're going to leave it on can edit. And then you have another option here. Uh, right now it's on require account, and that means that whoever you're working with needs an Arc Studio account, but you can also do guest. And uh, this means they don't have to have an Arc Studio account but they need a name uh, attached to what they're doing. So you can actually choose that name. Like you can put in, you know, Franklin uh, D. Reitervelt. And then that's the name that will show up when they leave comments or do their writing on the script. And then you would just click send invite and they'll get emailed the invitation. So all the collaborators that you've shared your script with will appear here. Uh, it'll have their name, what you've shared with them and their access level. So I'm the owner of the script. I created it and Tom can edit but I can change his access level to admin or read only if I want to. And then I can also uh, revoke his access in case he's no longer a collaborator. Uh, and you'll see that I can change the color there or I can also just click here. And this is how I can change the color associated with his avatar. So for instance, I could make him green or go back to red. Uh, if I close this, you'll see that those avatars also appear here uh, at the top of the script. Everyone who's accepted the invite to collaborate on your script will appear here uh, in at the top. Uh, it'll have their avatar. And if they're actively looking at the script right now, if they're live in the script, they'll have this green live light next to their avatar. So now Tom's looking at the script. So you'll see that there's a green light here by his avatar. And also this little uh, zoom icon appeared. And if two or more writers are live in the script, this will appear and you can start a zoom call uh, from within Arc Studio uh, if you integrate your zoom account to it. One of the great things about these colors associated with each writer is you can see what they wrote in that color. So to do that, you just turn on changes here and then you make sure by writer is selected. So then if I come in here and I write, you'll see it's blue because that's what my avatar uh, is, it's blue. And if I come over here to the script, which I have open in my browser window and pretend to be Tom, if Tom writes, it'll be red. So you can see which writer uh, wrote which part of the script. And if you change uh, the color, for instance, I can make Tom, you know, purple. And now what he wrote uh, is in purple. So you can see who wrote what. So again, if you want to do that, you just go up to the changes menu and select by writer. And if you want to turn those off, you can just click hide marks for me and they'll go away. Another way you can collaborate with your co-writers is through comments. And that's how you can leave feedback for each other on the script. So let's say I wanted to leave a, feed, a comment on this section of the script here. I just highlight it and click comment and I can leave a comment, but I can also at Tom here and he'll be notified. Uh, this doesn't make sense. And that comment is there and Tom is notified for it. And you can resolve that comment when it's done. You can react to it with emojis. Uh, and we can also use hashtags to, uh, tag it and sort it. So I can create one, something like feedback, create tag, feed, tag feedback. And uh, now this comment is tagged with feedback. And you can do that uh, in the comment itself. So I could reply and leave another one like uh, this needs a hashtag uh, rewrite. And the comment will also have the rewrite tag attached with it. 
And the cool thing about these tags is it lets you sort all the comments. So if you end up having a ton of comments on the scripts, uh, you can go over here to the comments in the sidebar and you have a bunch and let's say like, ah, I only want to see my tag that has rewrite in it or my comment. I only want to see my comments that are tagged with rewrite. You just click on it here and it'll only show the ones that have the rewrite tag. You can also collaborate with your co-writers in the outlining portion of your script. So for this script, I can here go to beats and this will show me all the beats that I've created for the script as I'm figuring out my story structure. And let's say like this beat, uh, I want to leave a comment on it. I can open comments and I can add, you know, uh, Tom here, uh, take a look at this and Tom will be notified. Uh, just like the comments on the script. But in the outlining portion, you can also do some other things. So let's say that you're dividing up the script. Some You're writing some parts and your co-writers or co-writer is writing other parts. You can assign writers to each beat. So I can go up to here and click add assignee and I can assign Tom. And now Tom here is assigned to this beat. And then we can also set the status of the beat. Like say this one is in progress there. And then later, uh, maybe when your collaborator wants feedback from you, you can uh, change it to feedback needed. And then finally, when that section's done, you can change it to done. All right, so that's how you can easily collaborate with your co-writers in ArcStudio. Uh, I hope this was helpful and happy writing.